Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my Boxy Lux unboxing. Yes, I finally got approved for the Boxy Lux. So happy about it. Um, I actually just got ready for work and I'm doing this video real quick before I have to go to work. So this is when I, the only chance I have to make videos, so bear with me. Um, I did get approved for the Boxy Lux. I'm so happy. Let me grab that real quick. I may have already opened it because I was so excited about getting approved for the Boxy Lux that I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta see what all's in here. So I did already open it and I did swatch a few items so y'all will see that. But this month's Boxy looks March Boxy looks. This is the card for it. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm not really French. I think this is French. Lobbying Rose. Is that right? Lobbying? I don't know. Anyway, that has all the prices on it. So the first thing we pull out is the bag. It's a makeup bag, travel bag, if you want to call it. Um, really cool little bag. It's like a rose gold looking color. We're just gonna see how big it is. So it comes out like this. Just unwrap it. Has that new smell to it. I'm weird, y'all. Smell everything. So, um, anyway, this is it. Pretty big little bag. I like it. I love the color of it. Really cute. Love it. So we're gonna sit that down there. And then the next thing I see is the Lily Lashes. You can see that? It's a little bright, but anyway, Lily Lashes. And these are, I'm trying to see if they have um, the name of the lashes or anything. It just says Fox Mink, Faux Mink, Gaia. This is Gaia only, G A I A, Gaia on the ends of it, so maybe that's the style, not really sure. Um, then the next thing I see is this Wonder Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Broadening Peel Off Mask. Kind of excited about that. I need a new mask. Hopefully this one will be really good for me. Y'all know I fight with my skin condition all the time and I have flare-ups and all kinds of stuff. It smells kind of... We will see. I'll have to do a video on me using that or something, but anyway. Then the next thing I see is the Becca Ultimate Lipstick Love in the shade Sorbet. I'm really excited about this because I love Becca Cosmetics and I love the end of it because this is the country side of me coming out, but it looks like a bullet. Like, you know how the bullet has, I don't know, you know what Magnetic. That's really cool. Perfect. 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 Anyway, this is the shade. It's really pretty pink. Like that. No, I've been adjusting my, what I call my studio, but it's not a studio because it's in my bedroom. But this little area that I'm video in, I'm looking for backdrops and I'm trying to get rid of the shadow. But I have all I have for lighting right now is just my ceiling fan lot and my ring lot. I'm trying to work on getting the lighting because now I have my camera behind my ring lot and it's not well, as different. It kind of goes in and out. So, but back to the box. Sorry, y'all. Sometimes a little, a little ADHD. Um, the next thing I have is the Moda Powder and Soft Glow Brush. Excellent for wet and dry product. I need, I need new brushes too, so this is a plus for me. Big plus. I haven't, I've got a few new brushes. But these are really pretty. And this I have not had, this is the first time opening this. I love the handle, that's cute. Very soft. Love it. So I'm gonna run over on my brushes. I'll bring it out. Duh. And then this one is like a, like a tapered brush. Really, 
really pretty. Yeah, that would be good for like a highlight or something like that. So I'm gonna keep the box so I can look at it later. I'm just throwing all my trash over on the floor. I'll get it later. Probably tomorrow. Well, no, I gotta work tomorrow morning. Anyway. And then the next thing I see is the Deborah Lippman nail polish. Those are really cute. I don't do a whole lot with nail polish other than painting my toes. But this shit will work. But this hair, y'all. I really don't understand. It's trying to be wavy. It's trying to... I don't know what it's trying to do. It's driving me crazy. It's getting so long. It's driving me nuts. But I love my long hair. Love it. Next thing I see is the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. I have opened this. I don't know if you see that or not. But I have opened this. And they sent me the shade Medium. And I'm a blonde, so it may be a little dark for me. But it does have two shades in it. But looks like this. Of course, you can see my favorites already all over it. It's terrible. And then you open it up, and it looks like this inside. It has the two different shades on it. In it, whatever. I would swatch it, but I'm about to go to work, and I know I don't want to have to wash all this stuff off me. We have that. Next thing I see is, this is really amazing. This is probably, like, one of my favorites in the box. And this is the Confidence in a Cream Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. It's anti-aging armor. I need anti-aging because I'm getting older. I'm not young anymore. I need this. But it is a good size cream too, so this will last me a very long time. And I think this product was worth like $48. So this product was pretty much worth what I paid for the whole box. Good deal. Very good deal. But anyway, this is it. I don't know if you see. This lighting thing is driving me crazy, but it's very nice. Smells pretty good too. So we got that, which I want to leave out of its box now. So I can put it on at night time or in the mornings, whatever. Then the next thing I see is the Cover FX palette. You can see that. And it's it's got two highlighters, a contour, a blush, a finishing fit. Finishing powder and a brightener. So that I love the shades too. It's very, very pretty. The highlight is like very, very pretty. I don't know. Y'all probably can't see that, but anyway. I'll be using this in a video soon. I promise. And then last but not least, I got the Morphe palette in 15N Not Master. And it has these shades. It has these shades. Very, very pretty. I'm excited to use this too. I'm trying to build my eyeshadow palette collection, so this this helps a lot. I've gotta have I gotta get more storage though, because I'm running out of room for my makeup. But yeah, so we got the Morphe palette, the Cover FX palette, the Iconic Eyebrow, the Becca lipstick, the Deborah Lipman nail polish, the eyelashes, the peel off mask, what am I missing? The Moda brushes. I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe not, maybe that was it. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. Am I missing something? How many products was in here? Ten. Oh, the case. The travel case. Yeah. So, I added all this up and it was worth it. I have all the products were worth $310. Very good deal. Because on the Boxy Lux, you just pay $28 more 
than what you would pay for your monthly box, which together would be $50. So not a very, not a bad deal at all, at all. But anyway, I'm gonna put this stuff away for now because I gotta go to work, like always. But, thank God for work because otherwise I would not be able to afford any of this makeup. And thank God for BoxyCharm because if not for them I wouldn't be able to get all this brand name stuff. Because, believe me y'all, if, if y'all want to subscribe to BoxyCharm, just the regular BoxyCharm, this is how big the box is, the Boxy Lux. It's huge. Huge. So, if y'all would like to subscribe to BoxyCharm, their regular boxes every month have like five full-size products. They are full-size. So, if y'all would like to subscribe, I'll leave the link below. And I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. I've got to get my butt to work, but I have enjoyed making this video. I miss making my videos, so I will be back soon with more videos. Probably gonna be doing an eyelash, oh, eyelash. Some kind of crazy eyeshadow tutorial soon, hopefully. So I will see you guys really soon. Please subscribe. Please remember to subscribe if you like my videos. Make sure you hit the little bell for the post notification so you're the first one to get notified when I upload a new video. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will be back soon, y'all, I promise. I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of stuff, but there's no reason for me to, you know, try to make excuses not to make y'all videos. So I will be back soon with more videos and I'll see you later.